We're recording. Recording. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Two Black Girls, One Rose. Where two black ass girls finally invade a black dating show. Ready, Ready to, love. to love. I'm Natasha. And I'm Justine. And it's our cast bios episode. Yay! <laughs> this is seriously my favorite episode to do every season for The Bachelor, but now I get to look at some black ass faces and I am mm-hmm. so hyped to just dissect them in a more respectful manner, probably, <laughs> than I'd be <laughs> breaking down them Beckys on Bachelor and Bachelorette. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, just being truthful. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm excited for this too because they just did us such a favor and such a service and put mm-hmm. their Instagram bio Ooh. or Instagram linked right into yes. their, into that cast uh, little blurb. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, definitely excited. we're going to talk about this new uh, season two cast of Ready to Love. So. Follow along with us at own.com or was it Oprah.com slash ready to love, something like that. Um, you can open up the cast bios page and come along with us. Open up your Instagram page. Yeah. And we're going to go through each of these new members for ready to love season two. Um, first and foremost, Justine, what were your initial thoughts of this cast? Okay. So uh, my initial thoughts is that I think I saw maybe three people that did not have booking emails already stacked in that Instagram bio. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We, I have never seen a bunch of people so prepared for fame in oh, my yes. life. <laughs> yes. Everybody never. edited their Instagram profiles to say, like, public figure or something. something. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. public figure, actress, um, mm-hmm. fashion something. Everybody had a side business page that you could oh, also yeah. look at. <laughs> as well they ain't playing mm-hmm. yep um so i thought that was you know that's um nice to see black people thriving and working uh oh, yeah. and we support black business as we always say so yep. mm-hmm. um so it should be really interesting to decipher who's here for the right reasons because it seems like everybody has an agenda just straight off the camera alone mm-hmm. and, and i think, think that's fine of- though I think it's great. I think great. that's fine because I think it's dumb to go on reality television, air out your whole entire her whole entire <laughs> life, and yes. have no nothing to promote. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. So exactly. it's just it's up to us to kind of figure out who's there for the right reasons, wrong reasons. But I mean, I'm not mad at anybody who has something going in there um, to promote. Even on The Bachelor and Bachelorette, you about to be yeah. one out of thirty. 30. Yeah, but a chance to find love, you best have some tequila company like Luke S <laughs> <laughs> sitting yeah. on the back burner because your chances of winning and finding love are one out of 30. So, so slim, so, <laughs> so mm-hmm. slim. But I am just excited to see all of these people having businesses that are, they seem to be like kind of unique to them at least, at right. least. Because mm-hmm. when you go on The Bachelor, all those people are looking for fab, fit, fun. Every last one of them. They're mm-hmm like going for the same pot so this is a little different so yeah that's true excited to see that and it was just very interesting that it was like everybody um (laughs) and then i have also never seen so many booty selfies in oh god like a sequence of cast bios a lot of just like looking from the back with a little wink (laughs) yes look back at those Uh (laughs) no matter the age Listen, oh, yeah. 40s, moms, doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Nope. <laughs> Atlanta something. Atlanta is, I can't wait to go back to Atlanta and just really take it all in. Yes, um, <laughs> it's an interesting place. It's a really interesting place. And also the guys, um, I was really, really, really turned off by a lot of their Instagram pages. Mm, so, so I'm excited to get to know the guys. A lot of the guys had these like word memes on there. And those like really say uncle to me, like really, really <laughs> loudly mm-hmm. say like, I don't know how to work Snapchat. Like that's what that <laughs> says to me. <laughs> so <laughs> um, really interested to like see the guys' personalities and 
I was judging them really harshly. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, with you guys. <laughs> we'll see. Excited. Excited. About oh, that, boy. What about you? Yeah, I was trying not to be as critical because the like with the bachelor you have people who are like in their 20s young 20s growing up on instagram so they know exactly how to use it how to curate it so this demographic is a bit older they still they're all on instagram but they use it a bit differently than we do and so (laughs) i was trying to be conscious of that and less harsh in that way um but yeah i'm super excited for this new cast they to me they they look and seem like their vibe very different from season one folk yeah i was getting a bit and i don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing but i was getting a bit more like atlanta vibe like they were particularly among the women (laughs) i didn't want to say anything i didn't want to offend anybody but i was like this is so atlanta yeah (laughs) there was a lot of there was a lot of common themes among the the grams uh a lot of mirror shots a lot of filtered selfies a lot of look back at it shots uh-huh. a lot of red carpet like point like step and repeat step and repeat of nowhere <laughs> of no, but you know in atlanta every other weekend is a launch or an oh. opening of some <laughs> sort <laughs> yes. somebody's doing a clothing line somebody got a sunglasses yeah. line every other weekend in atlanta so it was just funny to see that on everybody's page Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, a lot of red carpet photos, a lot of selfies with celebrities. Mm-hmm. That was another yes. common theme as well. It's just, like, a lot of events and then just, like, seeing mm-hmm. French Montana mm-hmm. and then, like, a selfie photo on there. Like, it was just... French Montana. <laughs> French Montana. Chris Tucker was in about three, four photos I saw on people's was Instagram. He? Oh. He was a theme himself okay. on a lot of Instagram. <laughs> Chris, uh, <laughs> Chris Tucker. Oh, so random. Um, but, yeah, so very interesting. Very, very interesting. It just, like, gave me a feel of like the city because i feel like if this was a cast of like harlem or new york yeah. people their grams would look different yes not any good or any not any better or any worse no. it's just, it would look different just i different. got like a very atlanta vibe from it mm-hmm. um and i've never lived in atlanta but my sister lived there for seven years i used to frequent atlanta wow, quite a yeah. bit um i got family down there as well so i'm speaking partially from experience although i'm Mm -hmm. definitely i've never lived there so you can take what i say with a grain of salt but um so that was one thing also everyone looked 10 times better in their instagram photos than on the cast bios this is a thing now we know it's a thing this is not just the bachelor yeah it's not just the bachelor but this also could be the filters on instagram as well so So. you didn't have to say that but okay (laughs) i ain't gonna throw owen under the bus let me first point out that these (laughs) people all got a nice gloss on all of their photos a lot of face tuning going on a lot of instagram snapchat filters Mm -hmm. i see y'all i ain't mad at you but i see it not at all Mm mm-hmm um, so yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Hey guys, that's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose and sign up to get weekly recaps and other bachelor content from us. See, See you next week. week.